One of my job responsibilities is performing behavior evals on the dogs here at the Humane Society. They go through a 45 minute long assessment if they're over six months of age or show any problems as puppies. The assessment concludes a lot of different things about the animal. It kind of gives us more than a snapshot of the animal. It's kind of telling a little bit more of a story. So what we first do is we approach the animal at their cage with a very neutral posture and see what kind of reaction we get from them. Do they have any barrier frustration, any territorial issues or anything like that? Our next, next thing we do is we kind of put them in the room and just kind of let them investigate the room. Are they soliciting play? Are they seeking our affection at all? Are they nervous and scared? Are they very high arousal? Then we go into a place where we check out their manners. Do they have any? Do they know any basic commands? What kind of leash manners do they have? Just so we can get more of an idea of what to tell adopters. The next thing we do is we go through handling. We do a kind of a gentle massage on the dog and then we kind of lift up each foot to see if there's any kind of reaction. We do a very light push and a sit and we kind of do a muzzle hold to see if we're gonna get any reaction from them. We also look to see, are they friendly during this? Are they fearful? Is there a high arousal or is there some aggression? After that, we then kind of go into a fun play session. We bring out a tennis ball, a squeaky toy, a rope toy. Do they go from zero to 100? How do they play? What toys do they like? And then we also do a run and freeze to see how, how sensitive is the dog to things running and quickly stopping as if they were a two-year-old child. The next thing we do is we go through food. We start with the very lowest reinforcer, which is dry food, and when we move to wet food and then to a raw hide to see if there's any kind of possession guarding or anything with those kind of items. The next thing we do is we bring out our toddler doll to see how they react with just a snapshot of something that looks like a child. Is there going to be fear, happy to see, nervous aggression, anything like that? Then we also bring in a strange person where we dress up in a straw hat with a coat and a cane and we come through the front door to see what would they do if someone just walked in that looked a little different than the average person with a very friendly approach saying hello to the dog. We then introduce them to two dogs, one the same sex, one an opposite sex. Both dogs that we introduce them to are known to be friendly dogs, so we set them up for success, and we also introduce them to something that's the same size as them. And we get an idea of how they're going to do with another dog, to so that way we can better pair them uh, with an adoptive home, and we can let them know if, you know, potentially the dog park material. The reason why we do our behavior assessments on the dogs is we're, we're seeing that our returns are going down a lot less and our adoptions are going up a lot more. You kind of get an idea of what dog you're taking into your family. We can better guide you to what dogs are going to be good with kids, other dogs, new people if you have a high traffic household, and we're able to give you some sort of idea of who you're taking into your home that day. And granted, we're not going to be able to tell you, you know, what the end of the book's going to say, but we're going to be able to tell you kind of a guideline of what the story's going to be about. And we're finding that we're, we're a lot of less returns because we will adopt something out that may be a little nervous to new people, but you're gonna adopt that animal out knowing that it has that issue when you go into it. And we also find out that the animals here leave a lot quicker because we're able to tell more people about the personality and they kind of get a little bit more of a bond with the animal before they take it home.